still battling a leg injury as well. Tori Petso is our head referee for tonight's fixture. We invite you to turn off the world and turn on the game. We're playing for three points here along the lakefront, and tonight's kickoff, as always. Clever little ball from Mueller into Shakiri. Nobody's stepping to him just yet. Out wide for Gutierrez. Sekulic making the overlapping run. It finds the Serbian. Back for Gutierrez, who keeps it low. It pops out for Pineda! in between an awful lot of defenders here. Bounces up nicely, good first touch, good finish, 1-0 Chicago. As it did here, now you're all the way back, you're trying to build out from 90 yards away. However, they do a good job, and Boris Sekulic might be unlocked here. He's able to get there. Attempting to cut it back, it'll fall for Duran. John Duran! Well, as of late, the young Colombian cannot help himself. Have to play it across the field. Luckily gets to Duran. He turns and fires. That's your look good, game good. Gillette replay, putting the fire up 2-0. You can't be quiet as a number nine. You've got to put pressure on the back four on those two center backs. I think that's what Duran does. Vargas whips it in. Derek Jones is there, and it's off the... Here's the corner kick. Look at Pineda get spun around here. He almost gets... Rios gets out of trouble. Across for Brent Bronico. And a really good challenge from Burks. Schwederski! And it's 2-1! And this is interesting here because when Burks clears this, all of a sudden now, before Schwederski buries this thing, you've lost the center back. You've lost somebody in the middle of the field. See, one more time here. There's no doubt Burks gets to it now. Tori Pencil is going to have to make a decision. See, if you're at midfield and you make a clearance like that, does she call a foul for a player coming through? Probably not. Yeah. I, no I, goal. I, I'm, I, for me, it was, I looked at an initial replay and I said, you know what, they're going to have to come back and look at this. Talking to Tori Pencil about the potential handball on the cross. Ball towards the back post, it's Milanda again, and this time Svidersky makes no mistake about it, and it's 2-1. And they're not going to be happy to fire here because they thought this was a handball on Rios on the cross. Be in the right place at the right time, you can see they're not good positioning once again, that's Kendall Burks on the wrong side. Last across, it's Santos! And it's 2-2. The substitute levels the score. You had to say it's been coming. And Charlotte FC find themselves with an equalizer here. Finish and Fiderski was hanging around for anything that Santos didn't get. And we talk. Derek Jones back in again on Federico Navarro. Clipped in, shouts for a handball, and it's off the bar. Svinerski again, blocked by Pineda. Svinerski one more time, and it's in. Charlotte have won it. From down two goals to up 3-2. And it's their skipper and main man, Carol Svinerski. But boy, heartbreak here for Chicago Fire fans, as this is likely. Second time this year they have squandered a two-goal lead that they had going into halftime. And Tori Penzo brings it close to what was an epic game here at Soldier Field that saw Charlotte FC come from behind.